How to use Practicad Layer Mechanism working with catalog entities. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to take a catalog entity that you've created and make sure it goes to the proper layer. This is done often with air handling units, VAV equipment. In this tutorial, we're going to use an STOD that we purchased from another vendor. And therefore, we'd like it to go on a separate layer. To create the layer we'd like to use, I'm actually going to first add it to my layer properties manager. Here I have my four layers we've created, including miscellaneous fittings, which was created by the system for us in earlier tutorials. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it underscore ML underscore purchased. Now that the layer is created, I'm actually going to use my copy command. I use control C. Exit out of the layer properties manager and we're going to go into the Practicad layer mechanism. I'm going to come over to library, open it up, and here we're going to design the conditions that fittings need to meet in order to go to that layer. Now the fitting in this tutorial we're talking about specifically lies underneath ductwork, single wall, rectangular, squared around, and here we've created underneath squared around three different types of catalogs. We're actually going to use the STODs. What we want to do is we want, if I choose an entity from this catalog, we would like it to go to its own layer. And we want this to act independently of the other layers we've created. Now there are tutorials on how to design catalogs. This tutorial is just going to show you how to get it to the proper layer. But notice the spelling. Once again, case sensitive is very important. STOD, apostrophe S in capital letters. To make sure that STODs are going to go to the proper layer, I'm going to close my browser and come back down to the layer section. I'm going to come over to the entity that we would like to use. I'm just opening up the screen up top and we're going to go to fitting. Here we're going to create the layer ML purchased. I'm just going to paste it here. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this little move down arrow and actually move this condition to the bottom. It's going to help us represent the way to differentiate what should go to one layer when it actually meets multiple conditions. I'm actually going to say that the condition that STODs need to meet are the C for catalog name. STOD apostrophe S is the catalog name. That is listed under the property catalog. And I'm going to say equals, and we're going to say STODs apostrophe S. Now I'm going to choose my checkbox. Now I'm going to save and we're going to try to exit out of my library and place this STOD. The catalog is right here. And we're going to take this STOD and we're going to take a fitting from it. Okay, right here I've got a list. And we're going to take a 12 inch STOD and we're going to place it on the drawing. So it's coming from the catalog that we're trying to get to go to the purchased layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the drawing. And here we're going to check the layer of this fitting. Notice it's gone to the ML purchased layer, which is exactly where we wanted it to go. Now I'm going to make a change. I'm now going to choose a zone supply so that in our workbox we have supply and we've got four inch water gauge as a specification. Now I'm going to place the exact same STOD right next to it. Now Practicad has made it so that this has gone to the ML supply high pressure layer. When in fact we would always want STODs to ignore the, the zone and spec and only go to purchased round layer or purchased layer. In order to avoid this from happening, we must order our condition sets properly. 
I'm going to go back into library again. And we're going to look at the three conditions we've created. The first condition under fitting we created was ML supply low pressure. And that is if the zone equals supply and the specification equals 2 inch, Practicatch should place this entity here. If it doesn't meet these conditions, once again, Practicat goes to the next choice and says, does this fitting zone equal supply and does the specification equal 4 inch or 6 inch water gauge? If the answer is yes, it's going to put it on this layer. So what happens is if in fact we know that one condition set should take priority over another, in this tutorial the priority is if the catalog equals STODs, we know that 100% of the time we would like that fitting to go on this layer. So what we should do is we should select this layer and use our green arrow to move it up in priority. This way, the first thing Practicat does is say, MI, a catalog with the name of the catalog being STOD apostrophe S. It's one condition. If I do not meet that condition, I must go to the next layer. This will guarantee that each fitting or entity goes to the proper layer. Order is very important here. Notice now that I've moved it up in priority that when I go to grab the same STOD and take note that I'm going to choose a zone, supply, and we know there is a layer that supply high pressure is supposed to go to, but because I've moved the catalog name up in priority, when I go to place this STOD on the drawing, it does in fact go to the proper layer, ML purchased. However, if I grab something without the catalog name equaling STOD, like this piece of rectangular duct, Practicad puts it on the proper supply high pressure layer. Order is very important.